Hi, my name is Alexis and I'm one of Spoonflower's graphic designers. And today I'm going to be showing you how to take a drawing and make a repeating pattern in Adobe Photoshop. This tutorial assumes that you already have something drawn that you'd like to use. So go ahead and get your sketchbook and scan in your drawing. I'd recommend using at least 300 DPI. And if you don't have a scanner, go ahead and just take a photo on your phone. Just make sure it's high res and get that sent over to your computer. And once that's ready to go, let's get started. So we're gonna start by opening up our scan drawing in Photoshop, and we're just gonna clean it up a little bit and make sure it's ready to make a pattern. And to do that, we're gonna use replace color, and that makes sure that our background is pure white. You're gonna come up to image, adjustments, replace color, and we wanna have our fuzziness set to 25, and you wanna click on the background of your canvas and that'll make a selection of that background color. And we're gonna scoot the lightness up just a little bit. And if you wanna make sure that your background is pure white, you can click in this results box and just drag the color picker all the way to the top left. And that'll just make sure it's pure white. And click okay. Now we're gonna make a selection of each of our elements to be used to make the repeating pattern. So we're going to need to unlock our layer by just clicking that lock icon. We're going to come over to our toolbar and use the lasso tool to make a selection. And we're going to zoom in a little bit by just hitting command plus. And you're going to click and just start dragging around one of your elements. And you want to get as close as you can without cutting into it. It's not super important that it's exact. Um, but the closer, the closer, the better. So when you've made your full selection, you'll see these marching ants all the way around. And we're going to want to copy and paste that selection to put it on its own layer. So Command C and Command V, and that's going to put the boat on its own layer. And now we're going to repeat this process for any remaining elements. So I'm just going to do this with the raft really quickly. Copy, paste, and with the anchor. And you want to make sure you always go back to your original scan that has the full image, otherwise you're not going to be copying what you need to. So now that that's done, each of my elements are on their own individual layer and we're ready to make our repeat. So at this point, we're going to need to set up a new canvas to create our repeat and we're going to go to file new. Any dimension will work, but a square is the easiest to work with. Now we need to make sure at this point that we're remembering our measurements for the center point of our design, because we'll use that in a later step. So for example, ours is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Our center point is gonna be 600 pixels. We need to set our resolution or our DPI to 150 and our color mode needs to be RGB. And then when you're done, click create. You'll get this new canvas. And now we're gonna work on bringing each of these elements over to our new canvas. So you can either select all your layers and click and drag them over, or you can select each layer by hitting Command A to make a selection and clicking into each layer and hitting Command C and Command V to paste them into this new layer. But I'm just gonna select them all, click and drag them over. So now I've got all these guys where I want them. And they're gonna be a little big, so we'll need to resize them a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command T to transform them and zoom out a little bit so I can see my corners and go up to one of your corner nodes and holding shift so that it scales proportionally just drag it down to make it smaller until it's the size that you want and when you're happy with it hit enter and that'll confirm that transformation and keep it that size and I don't need my raft or my anchor right now so I'm gonna hide those and just rename these layers so I know what's what. And now I want to make my boat be in the center of the canvas. So we're going to go up to our rulers and drag one down to 600 and drag one over to 600. And we're going to command T again. And this is just a really easy way to see if something's roughly centered. You're just going to line up your horizontal nodes and your vertical nodes so that they're matching there and that's going to be centered and so now we want to make a duplicate of this layer by hitting command j and that's what we're going to use to make our repeat so we're going to come up to filter other offset now that you're in the offset tool 
Go ahead and enter the center point of your canvas into both the horizontal and vertical boxes. And that's the 600 pixel number that we had talked about in the earlier step. Once that's entered, click OK, and your element should now repeat in each of the four corners of your canvas with your original element still in the center. Now you need to simply fill in the rest of the empty space with extra elements if you want. And if you're going to do that, just make sure that they don't touch any of the other edges because that will mess up your repeat. So I'm just going to bring back my anchor and my raft and place them on the canvas to fill in these empty spaces. And once I'm happy with those, I can go ahead and save this out. So I'm going to come up to File, Save As. I want it to be a JPEG or a PNG for Spoonflower. And we're going to just call this Boat Pattern. Hit OK. And I just like to test my patterns one last time before I upload them and call them done. So we're just going to come back to our desktop and drag our new image into Photoshop again. And I'm just going to make it smaller and just really quickly kind of duplicate it out um, and just check that it's repeating okay. And I think I just put that in the wrong spot. There we go. So yeah, you just want to come in here and make sure that everything's looking okay, that everything's lining up, but it should all be perfectly aligned and good to go. <laughs> and then when you're happy with that, you can upload it to Spoonflower. And that's it. Once you've saved your file, you're ready for the fun part. Go ahead and upload your design to Spoonflower and make a bunch of things. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave us any questions or comments you might have and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> That's good. Good send off. <laughs>